All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. So in the last video, I did a first impression of Mesa and uh, definitely liked Mesa. I um, was a little squishy until I got her ranked up and got her kit set. Uh, but after playing her a little bit, uh, there were a few things I was thinking about in the background. So today we're doing a bit of testing. Um, I already made one swap. I accidentally played a mission without uh, having my recording equipment hooked up correctly. So I'm kind of rehashing. But uh, this was originally not Arcane Velocity. I had it as Arcane... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was Crit Chance for Primary 60%. I, I forget which one, the name of it that I had on there. Uh, but it was one that did uh, damage boost to the primary. But since I'm using Felarchs, uh, I decided it does enough damage anyway that I thought I might just try this to see if there was any noticeable difference. It was one I looked at yesterday, and I just played a quick capture mission, and it definitely seems to spool up a little bit quicker, and it plays further into the crit, so I think I may leave this one on at least for a little while while I'm testing. I may swap it back, but this seems like a decent fit, and then the other one I'm still leaving Molt Augmented just to get more uh, strength out of it as uh, we, we get stuff done. Um, so... There's a few other things that I was toying around with, uh, just to kind of recap where I left it. I'll first have to go back and show you the secondary, not secondary, the, this, what it was considered it is, I don't know, a se but it seems to function like a secondary because it's secondary mods. So I put heated charge on just to help eat through in uh, past armor and the fact that it can stack multiple times to see if I could get damage out a little quicker. Obviously not a ridiculously high status chance, but on the four ability in particular, it's firing so often. And I did see it um, in that mission I just played without recording by accident uh, that, uh, yeah, I could see the heat procs were popping in there. Um, there's a few other things I was toying with. Uh, one is, let me find it. It's a cold based, I forget the name of it, Ice Storm. Mag capacity and cold, uh, that would be by swapping out a mod to go to Archon Flow. But I think because this uh, says as an abilities even though that is a gun i think because it only pops up because of this it might actually function like an ability so maybe this would be worth dropping a little of that additional energy popping that on instead and swapping the heat mod on the uh her dual pistols over to cold to try to get some energy to drop that might help with the energy economy especially if i dropped it a little bit 541 is a pretty good spot um intensify uh didn't really need anything there because uh, her abilities don't heal i thought also about archon stretch versus regular stretch sure this i, I have in some other builds and i they're at max right now so without doing formas i can't bump that up without changing other builds i have but I thought about also potentially swapping the heated charge over to an electric one and utilizing this for a little energy restore. Um, but I don't think that that would honestly be quite as effective as, say, uh, the Archon Flow. Because that has a chance to drop orbs. This is just plus two energy over five seconds, which is not huge. Um, and then I think the other one, the other Archon was Vitality, and I thought about that, but I'd have to swap something else off, uh, because I've currently got it set up with Heated Charge, so I could get it to double proc. Now, one thing I could consider is Exilus, if it would let me put the Augment... You know what? Can I even look at that? Where are my Exilus mods? Da, 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 da. It doesn't look like it functions as an Exilus mod, so I don't think that I could move that up, but maybe I could move something else up into that spot. I was thinking Handspring, uh, but uh, I'll probably just leave that for now. So just wanted to give you a little kind of back 
log of what it was I was thinking and setting up, but I made it through the capture mission okay. Um, her bullet deflection did a good job. Yeah, the enemies hit a lot harder, and some of them were taking way longer to take down than I was anticipating with her four. So I definitely feel like there's some other tweaking that could be done in the background, but uh, I've only made the one minor tweak on the arcane so far. So we've got interception, we've got exterminate for arc wing, so that doesn't really apply. We've got a rescue, we've got a spy, and we've got excavation. So none of these are super great tests. I mean, I should be able to get through them. Excavation, since you have to kind of defend a point and they'll keep coming at it, is probably the best test I have right now. But I'm just going to start with uh, a rescue, knock it down, and see what other nodes it uh, unlocks on Velus at War. If I recall, War might be a boss node fight. Uh, from the regular if it stays the same as steel path. So I'm gonna jump with this rescue first. We're gonna jump on Martialis The art of combat must be practiced to truly master the canvas of war Just uh, crack a couple to see if we can get ah, there we go an energy orb Makes it go a bit quicker if you can get some, which is always nice. And welcomed. We'll grab that. So it looks like I'm headed this way anyway. So let's just get the There's bullet no deflection the are doing to our ready. Target. You need to find the holding cell immediately. Sarigma. We'll just keep pushing forward straight to the point. No need to uh, mess about. You are approaching the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Wardens up there, so I think I passed them. At least from that direction, just fine. All right, now this they're coming, the so let's Our just grab them. In one of these cells. The hostage is almost out of time. Hurry. Something got me in the back. Kind of just need to get this open. I knew you would come. Thank you. Subject found. You need to bring the captive to safety. Honestly, them at all costs. get in here. I like the hound. But it does these abilities that keep you from doing damage at the same time, which I actually find rather annoying. So, I may end up swapping back to a different... A different companion. Yeah, you can see the heat procs there. I feel like it needs to hit harder to be, like, truly useful. On grand scale level, at least for Steel Path, to me, it doesn't hit quite hard enough. But it's fine. We're still getting through it, but it's fine. So, whoops. Maybe I'll grab a Diriga I liked. Focus. Honestly, I like them all. Dirga could shock, which is a pretty good crowd, whoops, crowd control ability. And 
so we learn the importance of clarity. Okay, so next is going to be excavation, which is probably the best test so far, but let's double check what war is. Yep. Fletch Krill. That could be a pretty tough test as well. Uh, and we have a mobile defense. Uh, those because they rotate. You know what? Let's just let's just go for war. Let's see if we can get through it. That'll be as good a test as any. So far, I'm on the fence. I feel like she has potential, but uh, maybe her damage reduction needs to be a bit better. I like her weapon jamming ability, but it doesn't toggle quite how you would expect it to. Like, it, it forms a line almost like Trinity Krill when she does her reflect damage back ability. And, you know, it's got a radius, and you pull it in a group within that radius, and it doesn't jam all of their guns, and they're just right there. So, I'm not sure if there's a way to make that a bit more useful. You know, I'm just kind of talking out loud with what I've noticed so far. On paper, her kit seems like it would excel, and I don't dislike it, but I feel like it can be better. So there's probably some adjustments that uh, I can make to make this all work a little bit better together. And seeing how quickly her four does take down energy, I might consider swapping to the cold based one that will drop some orbs, especially since I can move around now while I'm in it, or I could quickly toggle it off, pick them up, toggle it back on again. There's uh, several ways I could go about doing this. But for now, let's just push forward. Unaware Grenier. Yeah, I mean, we know how hard steel path enemies hit, so this ability definitely does a good job of keeping a large chunk Stay of focused. damage from There's getting through to you. Approaching. No question about it. I feel like some Archon Shards, maybe for strength, to buff up her abilities a bit more, would be uh, pretty useful on her. Cast that again. I actually want to see if I can proc a little uh, incarnate here. Either way, I'm going down. That's actually a ridiculous volume of enemies here. Not fond of that. I don't need to see the cinematic. Oh, it's just so many enemies flooding me here. That's actually ridiculous. Get out of here. Yep. Yeah, that was the problem I was thinking about this fight. Of course, now I've lost all of my Incarnum because I died. And there's the stupid thing preventing me from doing damage to the enemies. Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of the Hound. I, I rather dislike that. That it puts up this bubble and while it's in its animation, you can't do any damage. I mean, that is just a really, in my opinion, bad aspect of the Hound. Yeah, they hit pretty hard. 
No question about it. They are useful. However, I do more damage than I don't like not being able to deal my damage just because there happens to be a hound that's interacting with something I want to interact with. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. There is the assassination target. You know what to do. I do know what to do. Blast all the ads and go for it. He'll eventually overheat. Not sure why these ads are just kind of standing there. They are almost singularly the most annoying enemy on Steel Path on this map. They just run up on you and do straight melee damage, so like Mace's kit, not particularly useful. Overheated now? Yep. There's only so much I can do here. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Even if it were able to be damaged, I wouldn't know it because I can't do anything to it right now. Stupid hound. I'm I'm going to change the hound. That's just that's just too much for me, guys. Lord knows how many damage opportunities I missed there because of that animation or whatever whatever it is that it casts that it does that keeps me from being able to deal damage. That is that is just not gonna fly. It's just not gonna fly. Uh, let's find the buttons probably up here, I presume. Eximus downstairs, yep, just the button. Either way, we got through Krill, but I am gonna swap off the Hound because that's, that's just enough for me. I'm sure there's a time and a place where I'll be like, yeah, Hound or Bust, but... I don't, I don't want it in Steel Path. I really don't. All right, guys. But, yeah, we uh, took down the boss. I went down a couple times. Not the end of the world. I still feel like I can definitely get better. I can definitely get stronger. So we'll continue to play. And I didn't even use her for Because, frankly, it's not slapping out enough damage right now to, you know, for me to consider taking that over, say, the Felarks. So maybe maybe there's some ability I have on, equipped on this thing. Yeah, that's useful. Maybe that's the ability that while it's happening I can't damage, which knockdown is pretty good. Three hundred damage is not bad.
it could be that. I have no idea. Either way, I think I'm just going to swap the hound off and I'm going to throw something else back on. I think I will go with Diriga because of their weapon here. Oh, wait. wait was the Artex? Did I have to swap it to something else? You are incapable of producing the hydraulic effort required to unstick your tongue from the roof of your mouth the following morning. Ball clock. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Full Clock had Intrinsic Electric, and I also have Viral. So, yeah, uh, Viral plus, you know, Electric, probably not a bad way to do it. Um, I could throw some Formas on there, get it worked up to hit even harder, but we'll leave that on as is. Let me come over here, and I'm going to double check if I might want to. Okay, I've got Duplex Bond. Shield Charger would probably be pretty decent for steel path on here is there anything else i feel like tenacious bond might not would be bad that would get them back but uh whatever we'll just leave it as is i'm not going to rock the boat on the setup but i am going to swap to diriga because uh the robot dog <laughs> the hound was causing me much grief all right guys so we've got a mobile defense we've got a junction that might be fun to try uh, interception, no thank you. Excavation would be a good test. Arvel, not the best test. Defense, uh, not for Mesa. So I think I'm going to start with Series Junction, and then I think we're going to go over to mm, probably Valis. So we'll see if Mesa has what it takes to take down a Steel Path Warframe in here. I mean, the Felarx is probably going to do all the work. Don't remember who we fight in here. Trinity. Okay. Nice try, Trinity. <laughs> yeah, you know, Trinity's uh, pretty good, obviously, with the uh, damage reflection and uh, healing tethers and all that, but Mesa had no problem. Her four worked quite well there, as was quite clear. Bellarks to clean it up. Not bad. Truly don't recall where Mars goes off to. Is it Eris? What, what does that even reach out to? I forget. We'll double check the map. Somewhere harder. Series. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not as hard. Interception, of course. Ah, uh, you know what? I saw this pop up the other day on the regular variant, and I haven't clicked on it yet. I have no idea what that abyssal zone is about. So what I think I might do, I'm going to turn this back to regular level right now, and let's just pop in and see what this abyssal zone is. I have no clue. Um, never seen it before. Obviously, I've finished all of the missions on the regular star chart, so I don't know if this is an event or something. Let's just pop in and see what it's about. I'll stick with Mesa. Hello? Reinforcements? Listen, we don't care about our mission. My team just wants to go home. Clear out this ship so we can escape. If you find any of us, we'll show you where the nearest effects here is. We want nothing to do with those cursed things. Be cautious. The Defixios are coveted because of their power. I cannot predict their effects on you or your warframe. Okay, so this is evidently some new faction.
action of some kind, maybe? What is damaging? Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Is that right? I don't see one. May as well just check these while we're here. No clue what this is about. It's got some nice eerie organ music going on in the background. All of these enemies seem intent on bum rushing and largely punching. Is this functioning like an elimination? I guess it is. Yeah, see Diriga zapping them in place? I love it. And Diriga doesn't prevent me from dealing damage. Yeah. I like the Hound's power, but... And I'll play around to see if it's an ability that I put on him, a mod. But uh, something about that setup just wasn't working for me. Okay. I hear you. I hear your concerns. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. I really like the music in here. It's got this creepy kind of Halloweeny vibe to it. All right. So there's something here. Release lockdown. Okay. Is that gonna? Free some prisoners or something. Don't know. We'll find out, I guess, as we progress. What is this? Take the defixio. Get that defixio to the extraction zone as soon as possible. I will, but I'm not going to have a shade light ball rolling around. So I guess, what do we run this way? I'm going to assume I just have to keep following the path, guys. I have no idea. We'll find out when we get up here. Stupid shock traps. Take some more can sell. Yeah.
So yeah, I'll just keep pushing forward for a minute. Fixio's recovered. I feel like it's giving me this Trinity like tether or something. I'm not entirely certain. So that looks like the exit. Fixio dropped. Fixio delivered. What's the matter? You can't fire your gun? Yeah? Dark? We'll save that for if we get in a bind. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Just gotta take out some enemies now, it looks like. Is that another defixio? Does appear to be. So we'll take that back to the exit. Making me slow. Where's the exit for this one? Somebody. Anybody. Can't bring myself to touch it. Yeah, this is functioning like uh, that. I think it's called the Hobble Dragon Key. I think that's right, the Hobble Dragon Key. The one that makes you slow. I feel like it's pointing me this way. There's a yellow ring. Maybe it's not this way. Where am I supposed to be going on the map? I honestly have no idea. Uh, it's an alarm reset. I thought maybe it would be another lockdown thing. I'm a jam back gun. Evidently, I'm not. <laughs> All right, guys. Another orc and cell. I'll take it. I think not. What is attacking me? Eczema stronghold activity. Say so. I'm just not sure where it is I'm supposed to be taking this thing. Really? Seriously? Probably be because of that stupid cat in the background. In your Warframe's power matrix, the sooner you get that Defixio to extraction, the better. Yeah, I would love to do that, but I can't see where the extraction point is. Because reasons. 
Get out of here, cat. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Did you steal my weapon, you turd? Oh, you are gonna pay dearly for that. He stole it again? Bruh. That door's locked. Thank you, Tenno. Ah, okay. So we go this way. Oh, maybe I didn't even have to pick this up. I thought it said three. I thought it said we had to pick up three. That may be completely my fault. Obviously, the cat doesn't use a gun. The ball doesn't use a gun. So I'm not sure what that was about. That was interesting to say the least. Vainthorn? A vital compound for what? A vital component in Orkin, Defixios, and other technology. Interesting. So I'm guessing there's some reason to run that. I mean, I got a specific type of Kavit mod and a Darza Kavit. I don't think that's the same type of Kavit that I have. Let's find out. Oh, I do have an. Oh, wait. Learn about a Darza Kavit. Mastered. So that is that is my Kavit. Okay. So, I wonder if that's something reasonable enough to consider popping on to, whoops. Sight though, let's see, what do I have on you? What did I just pick up? Nope. What was it called? It said something for the Adarza Covet. Specifically. And it was gold. Ah, reflect. Yeah, that's that's a pretty solid mod. I feel like I should probably form a covet and then most of my companions and then throw some other it stuff on there. I'm going to swap back to uh, Diriga for the time being, but just wanted to look at that. That seems like a pretty solid mod. All right, yeah, guys. So I'm guessing there was a reason to continue playing that for whatever resource that is. I'm guessing you use it for something important. Otherwise, why would that... Why would that mission be there? And now it's disappeared. Where where was I? Where was this? Was this... It wasn't Mars. We just unlocked Ceres. I went to Ceres. And now that abyssal thing is gone, I feel like that was it, but now it's gone. So, either way, uh, we'll see if it pops back up. Let's uh, get back to the task at hand. I think uh, I've probably got time to squeeze one more in. Um, I still feel, actually, you know what, I might even consider... ...jumping over and making an adjustment. So, regulators, what happens if we do... In lieu of heated charge, we pop on cold. What is it called? 
ice storm. Capacity plus cold. So let's bump this. Forty forty, so that's a little different than the other mods I've seen. Most of them I've seen have been a sixty plus sixty on this, plus sixty on that, plus sixty on this, plus twenty on that. This one's a plus forty plus forty. Either way, that will get cold, and cold could be pretty useful because um, it does slow people down. Uh, what else? Slower, completely freeze after reaching ten stacks. Increases crit. On the first stack, additional five. So that actually plays even more into the four ability, which is what I was thinking of using it for. So I'm going to make a minor adjustment here. I think it's flow. I want Archon Flow. Let's take that off. We'll put Archon Flow instead. So yeah, it lowers it a little bit, but I should be having more consistent energy orbs dropping, assuming that uh, cold procs. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm liking the way vol Velocity feels. Plus it's critting a lot. Molt Augmented. Yeah, I still feel like that's going to be an important one to keep on there. So I'm just still playing around with ways I can set this up, guys. I mean, I have a lot of options here for a lot of reasons that I'm trying to consider doing some things. But we're going to try one more adjustment and jump back in. We'll see what we think. Stand by while I All right, guys. Going to go for Valis. Good test here. Each enemy is more powerful than before. Only with true mastery of the Tenno Arsenal will you succeed. All right. Like right there. Why was he able to shoot? This will only get more difficult. Get to a terminal. While he's clearly in the radius of impact. Of the ability. Like, maybe it's not a full-on complete jam. Maybe it's intermittent. I'm not exactly sure what to think. But I feel like getting up in their face is the right call for this ability and kind of lead with that for survivability, at least in Steel Path. Yeah, so like right back there, their guns were definitely not jammed. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. I don't need an acolyte joining the Stay fray focused. here. There's I really don't. You need your guns to keep jam. So they're in proximity to me. Your guns are jammed. Still working on it. Continue to defend. So far, that's working as I was hoping. A lot of enemies there. Yep, the explosive barrel that'll do the trick. And your guns. You don't get out of here. We are finished here. Okay. Move on. Let's not uh, dilly dally and mess about. Let's just move on to the next one. I'm sure at any minute an acolyte's going to get mad. That'll make it a bit more tricky. But this seems to be working okay so far. Yeah, let's cast back a little more energy here. 
while we're on route. Marines inbound. Really didn't need to run into a stupid shock trap. I really hate those things. Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. So it's like you're mostly jammed, but not completely. It's kind of how it's feeling. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Yeah, this is a tricky point to protect because. Um, Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Whoops. Great, great, wonderful. I got a two bloody Eximus in the middle of this. They're gonna blow that thing up. It's got just a few seconds left. Maybe not. Misery, fine. I'd rather deal with you up here. I don't want to deal with you back there in the middle of that big group. Area completed. Move on. Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. I don't know if I should wait on Misery or not. Probably not. Let's just get it going. They come in here, they come in here. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. working on it. Continue to defend. Hey, so long as they're not hitting the point. <laughs> nope. I do not need Eximus in here. Tenno. All right. But we did it. Mission complete. All right, guys. So yeah, um, it's a little more intense of a play style with Mesa, but the gun jamming. Just get a little more aggressive. Get up in their face. Understand that it's not a complete. That's it. Their guns don't they function. They can still well. get some bullets off. So make sure you have your shield up. But that worked. And I'm not even remotely mad that I decided to bypass that acolyte. I don't think I wanted to deal with that in the middle of it, but we got through it. So yeah, she definitely has potential. I still think it would be nice to have her hitting a little bit harder, but for a test, I think she's one that I can keep adjusting and come back to. I, I feel like I can get her stronger, particularly her four, which I really didn't use there. But um, yeah, she, she made it through. Maybe not the cleanest attempts that I've done on Steel Path with the frame I was testing, uh, but she definitely was able to get through it. And I feel like I just need to get better with her kit and make her a bit stronger. Probably invest in some um, uh, helmet shards, Archon shards. And if I did stick with, I don't even remember if I changed it or not. I did change to Ice Storm and I don't think I even adjusted her. If I may say, Operator, your chosen Warframe suits you. No, I didn't. Uh, uh, 
You know, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's run down to the Helmuth, because I feel like, wasn't I looking at, are they Topaz shards? Let's look at the shards again. So I was looking at that, I think, for Mesa. So sec increase secondary crit by 1% every time you kill somebody with a heat status. Affected by. It doesn't say the heat has to do it and up to max 50%. So yeah, that, that would be the way. So probably forget about the energy. Swap it back to heat. And when we eventually get some more shards up so I don't forget. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to adjust back to a prime flow. Uh, we're going to take off. Uh, Archon Flow, we're going to throw on Prime Flow, and I'm going to take her secondary, we're going to throw that back to Heated Charge versus Ice Storm. So that that's, whoops, I think I must have had a one that I made with 10. Yep, Heated Charge instead of Ice Storm. So that's how we're going to roll with it, guys. That's how we're going to roll with it. And uh, I am going to try, uh, I know it could be a big use of resources to test out the Topaz Shards, but I feel like it should work on paper. And yeah, I think it'll get better as I spend more time in the saddle with her. Get her a little stronger. Probably get some additional, maybe some additional strength mods in the background. Maybe there's some other way I could boost her duration of stuff. Is there any ability duration boost? Or range? Can you get any range from any of these? Health, shield capacity, energy, armor, health regen per second. That actually wouldn't be horrible. Effectiveness on orbs, casting speed, don't really need that. Max energy filled at spawn. Uh, melee crit, primary status, secondary crit. So that could get even more ridiculous. Yeah, so she needs crimson shards, I think. I mean, her crit's already pretty ridiculous. Is there one that you can do for crit damage versus just chance? Toxin, health, corrosive, nope. Secondary crit chance. So that would just keep... I mean, she would almost be basically guaranteeing that she crits every shot, though. Yeah, so red and topaz, it's looking like. Uh, at least I'm going to invest in it enough to test it. I feel like that's how I want to build around it. And I still feel like she maybe would benefit from taking the one ability off and helminthing on something. I don't know what that something would be. But either way, I have a sense of what I want to do with it. And she's definitely a very fun frame. Um, you know, full, full on weapon platform, really. I mean, sure, she casts, but it's all based around her being a gunslinger. Uh, by and large. So she's one I'm definitely going to be coming back to, guys. I'm going to do some more testing in the background. I'll probably take her into the simulacrum, play around with some mod adjustments that I wanted to test just for damage output, weigh the pros and cons of duration, and if I manage to get another mod that drops outside of stretch or Archon stretch that does a range boost, that would be fantastic. I I'm guessing there has to be one. It's probably another one of those... Um, corrupted mods and I just de need to do more dragon key vault grinding until one drops um, so anyway uh, that was a pretty good test maybe not always the cleanest that I got through in all of it but I did manage to get through what I elected to tackle and I think that she can do it I just think um, I would like to get her a little bit stronger get a few more reps in the saddle play with some uh, other possible ideas I was floating around to see which seems to function the best and then we'll bring her out again uh, for some some more runs but anyway you slice it guys she is definitely a fun frame and uh, if like you're all about the uh, the guns in this game that's like your forte I could see Mesa being uh, one of your favorite frames easily a uh, very very fun frame indeed Regardless, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you checking in today, and we will catch you on the next one.